everybody i am kaushik and you are watching tutorials in english literature all of us have heard about rhyme scheme like a b v a a b v a c d e c d e especially while reading sonnets though it is really easy to determine the rhyme scheme of a particular poem it may appear to us very weird if we don't know how to determine the rhyme scheme of a poem so in this lesson we will try to learn how to determine the rhyme scheme of a poem so without further delay let's start so first what is actually the rhyme the rhyme is generally repetition of sounds similar sounds identical sounds but we have to keep it in mind that rhyme may appear anywhere in a line of a poem or verse but while determining the rhyme scheme of a poem we have to focus on the end of the line because rhyme scheme is the pattern of rhyme that comes at the end of each verse or line in poetry and to determine the rhyme scheme of a poetry we have to use a letter or a alphabet to indicate which lines rhyme with which so it will be clear if we take an example for that purpose i have chosen a very famous nursery rhyme known as little miss muffet written by dr thomas muffet so first read this poem little miss muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened miss muffet away so we have to look at the end of the line so first line ends with muffet and the second line ends with tuffet so first the muffet gets the alphabet a for its sound now the second line ends with tuffet and as tuffet rhymes with muffet we can assign a again for tuffet but look at the end of the third line it ends with way and clearly it doesn't rhyme with tuffet or muffet so we have to use a new alphabet and for that reason we are using b now look at the end of fourth line it ends with spider so again spider doesn't match with way or tuffet or muffet so it gets a new alphabet c the next line ends with har and it's beautifully rhyme with spider so we can give it c and the poem ends with awe and awe rhymes with the third line look it ends with hue and the last line ends with awe so we can assign the last line with the alphabet p so now the rhyme scheme that we get is a a b and c c b so now we will discuss this method of determining the rhyme scheme by using the example of a sonnet and for that purpose i have chosen a petrarchan sonnet which is how do i love thee written by elizabeth barrett browning so generally petrarchan sonnet are written in two stanza the first stanza which is composed of eight lines with the rhyme scheme of a b b a a b b a are known as octave and the last stanza is composed of six lines and it is known as sestet and the general rhyme scheme of the sestet of a petrarchan sonnet is c d c d c d or c d e c d e so here is the poem how do i love thee let me count the ways so look at the end of the first line it ends with count the ways so first assign the ways with a the next line ends with height and it doesn't match with ways so assign it with another alphabet b the next line ends with sight and it rhymes with height so we can assign it again with b the fourth line ends with grace and it rhymes with ways so you can assign it with a the fifth line ends with days and it rhymes with grace and ways and so we can again assign it with a so the next two lines 
end with similar sounds light and right and these two words rhyme with the second and third line so we can again assign these two lines with the alphabet b so look at the eighth line that is the last line of the octave it ends with praise and it clearly rhymes with the grace days and ways so we can assign it with a now look at the sestet the first line of the sestet ends with u's and it's a new sound so it gets the new alphabet c the next line ends with faith again it's a new sound so we have to assign it with a new alphabet d the next line ends with lose and it rhymes with use so we can assign it with c and the next line ends with breathe which rhymes with faith and the next line ends with choose and it rhymes with lose and use so we can assign c and the last line ends with death and so we can assign d for this line now look at the rhyme scheme the first four line rhymes as a b b a a b b a and the sestet is c d c d and c d so the rhyme scheme of the poem is a b b a a b b a c d c d c d so in this way we can determine the rhyme scheme of a poem hope this lesson will help you but before you go if you want to keep receiving such lessons hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below so that you can get notification of new videos first i will be back soon with another video till then take care